Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. This, that is, so let's say that the bottom surface is somewhere here and this is the lead. So both of them are oriented along the same direction. So there is no difference in their orientation when the box was closed. Now when you gradually start opening the box, you see that there is an orientation between the lead and the base. So base is along this direction, but the lead is along this direction. When you totally open, open the box again, there is some kind of orientation between the two surfaces. So angle is a measure of orientation between two rays with a common end point. So in case of this lunch box, if you see this is the common end point between this ray and this ray, right? So in the first scenario, and we measure this angle in degrees like 0 degree, 10 degree, 20 degree, 180 degree and so on. So Let's look at the angle in each of these cases. So in the first case, the angle was zero. So this was the orientation of the base and this was also the orientation of the lead. So the angle between them was zero. So we call it as zero degree. In the second case, if this was the base, if the blue line, blue ray represents the base, then the red ray represents the lead. So there was some angle. Now let's say for example, this angle was uh, 60 degree. Now, when you opened it all the more, what happened? The value of this angle increased further. Let's say this time the value was 130 degree. So what are these? So these values are nothing but orientation between two rays. So in this case, rays are not the surfaces basically, but when you look at only this line, so that would be a ray, only this line, that would be a ray. And both of these rays must meet at a common point. So you see, this is the common point here. This is the common point here. And we call this common point as the vertex. So this is the vertex. So this is about an angle. Now, where else do we use angles? Now, angles play a very critical role in direction. Now, when you talk about direction, we majorly talk about four directions, east, west, north and south. So every time you rotate by 90 degrees, you get a new direction. For example, let's say that you are facing towards east. You rotate in the anti-clockwise direction by 90 degrees. So this much is 90 degree. This is a right angle or a 90 degree. So where do you go? You face towards north. You further rotate by 90 degree. You face towards west. You further rotate by 90 degree, you face towards south. A further rotation of 90 degree brings you back facing towards east. So this is anti-clockwise. Now what is anti-clockwise and clockwise? Now have you ever observed in which direction the hands of the clock rotates? So they rotate in this direction. So this direction is called clockwise. That means like the clock. And when something is moving in this direction, then that is called anti-clockwise. That is opposite to the direction of the clock. So in this case, this movement was anti-clockwise. Similarly, when you move clockwise by 90 degree from north, you reach east. From east 90 degree clockwise, you reach south. From south 90 degree clockwise, you reach west. From west 90 degree clockwise, you reach north. So you see, in case of direction, angle plays a very important role. Now, when we talk about so many angles, now when, when, when we discuss about angles, we see that an angle could be 0 degree, an angle could be 90 degree, it could be 180 degree, it could be 240 degree, it could be 300, 360, it could be, is it that it could be any value? Well, the minimum value possible for an angle is 0 degree. 0 degree means there is no orientation between two rays. So if you have one ray like this, the other ray is also like this. So that means the angle between the two rays is 0. So this is the minimum possible value for an angle. Now what could be the maximum possible value? The maximum possible value could be 360 degree. Now what is this 360 degree? What does this correspond to? This means that let's say that one ray is like this. The other ray could be like this 
where it makes some angle maybe 45 degree it could further increase to maybe 60 degree it could further increase to 90 degree like this angle is 90 degree so in this fashion it could increase it on it it continues to increase until and unless it reaches it comes back to its own position and when it comes back to its own position how much is the angle 360 degree so basically 360 degree corresponds to one complete rotation now when i say maximum value that doesn't mean that uh, some uh, an angle like 720 degree doesn't exist so if i talk about 720 degrees that means it corresponds to two complete rotation because one complete rotation is 360 one more complete rotation is 360 so 360 plus 360 is 720 degrees so it is not that above 360 degree the values for angles are not possible the values are still possible but in one complete rotation the minimum value would be zero degree that is there is no orientation between the two rays and the maximum value in one rotation would be 360 degree because the moment you get rotated by 360 degree you come back to the original position so i hope that's clear now now the next question is now between zero degree and 360 degree there could be many different angles and in order to keep our study simpler we have assigned different names to different categories of angles so let us look at those various types of angles thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you